How's it hanging dudes? My name is Sean and welcome back to another Jurassic World Evolution update video. Um, I guess it's, I guess what you call it right? About the live stream, about the 1.4 uh, patch update. And I've had plenty of time to uh, be able to watch the live stream a couple times and um, see other YouTubers videos and stuff like that. So, okay, so I know many of you are waiting for my response slash reaction or whatever you want to call it. I've seen the live stream twice uh, because it is really short. So I, <laughs> so, so I have a quick list of everything they mentioned, uh, much of which we already knew. But to be quite honest, I am hopeful and, um, and I expect some of the things that have that they have implemented will actually add much replayability to the game and in today's video I want to do a few things uh, we talk about I guess the brand new uh, game mode uh, we talk about it in brief but the new challenge mode we will run through all the confirmed fixes to the game uh, then I will give you my honest opinion uh, about the live stream and the update I will tell you uh, all the things that uh, make me happy uh, and then of course I will rant about the things I hate as always, as what many of you come here for, um, which for the first time though I can actually say that there are more things to be happy about than upset about. Uh, it also drops September, sep, 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 the, 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 September 14th. I guess let's get into it. Okay, so first off, you think that this guy would have shaved first, right? <laughs> Anyways, moving on. The first thing I wanted to cover in brief is the challenge mode. Challenge mode will be a new mode available from the start screen. This is the dev's somewhat successful attempt at adding replayability. You will receive easy, medium, hard, and Jurassic difficulties to the game. Jurassic, of course, being their version of Extreme. Contracts will be forced upon you uh, with cancellations costing realistic sums of money and loss of reputation uh, resulting in higher chances of sabotage. Nublar now has progression as if you were starting on Monteceros with some things unlocked from the start and others not. If enough people in the comments say that they want me to do an expanded version and explain uh, how much more depth this mode adds, just let me know in the comments down below. While I do think that this should be uh, all part of the base game mechanics and not a, you know, quote, separate mode, unquote, I honestly do think it's the basic stuff I feel should have been in the game at launch. You know, now we have a, you know, a few a few grains of salt in our potatoes, right? Okay. Okay, so moving on. I'm going to have uh, all the obvious and known fixes up on the screen. If anyone knows of any other confirmed ones that I didn't include, feel free to comment down below. And okay, let's go through them. So, uh, challenge mode, of course. And then we have some sandbox fixes. Lifespans unlimited, uh, cash unlimited, power unlimited feeders unlimited uh, contracts on and off uh, and that's about all that's you know there's a few other things for the sandbox uh, mode that they fix but these are the main things this is going to help out so much of uh, just lifespans are self-explanatory cash self explanatory it's all self -explanatory. power feeders it's it's so great we this is the stuff we've been needing for a very long time this is the basic stuff that again should have been in the game um, with, with the sandbox mode but what are you gonna do we have it now and that's that's what's awesome that's what counts right uh, kill and hunt attributed to hunger meter dinosaur awareness lighting uh, change on other islands dinosaurs live longer in general uh, contracts broker appropriate cash um, what does that mean that means that if you take a contract and uh, if the contract wants you to I guess breed and let's just say breed an Indominus Rex and have it fight a T-Rex and let's say you don't have a T-Rex or an Indominus Rex um, well then you're just going to cost quite a bit of money to incubate both of those and then the cash you'd get back would have been only like you know a couple hundred thousand dollars now it's going to be appropriate you're going to recoup the money lost right from what what, what you spent to do that 
that um I guess that contract. Korean and Italian languages have been added, so that's cool. I mean, it's 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 a it's kind of a smaller thing, but there's enough people uh, you know needing it for them to feel they need to add it, so that's cool. Uh, viewing cameras, we know about that. Dinosaur photos have been fixed. So a lot of times, if you was taking a photo of a dinosaur, um, a lot of times it wouldn't register a dinosaur even if there's one smack dab in the middle. So that's all been fixed. Territorial dominance fights. This is big, especially for a documentary. Um, so so when dinosaurs, when carnivores, um, there's so many, there's only so many feeders in an enclosure, and they're and they're right at the cusp of their max, uh, I guess, population pool in that said enclosure. Uh, you know, two Metricanthosaurus or two um, um, Spinosaurus might, you know, snap at each other if one gets too close to its feeder, stuff like that. And, uh, you know, growl and display dominance. So that's really cool. Again, should have been in base game, but whatever, we'll take it. So research and incubation cancellation. Again, base game. But that's very good. That helps out a lot. Gene removal option. Gene remove all option, which is that helps out a lot too. Sometimes you just want to null gene dinosaur, you know. Um, dig site genome percentages. This might seem like a small thing, um, but it kind of goes back to not being able to see like your population before uh, you incubate the dinosaur, how many you need, right? It's like while you're at the dig site, uh, the genome percentage is like, oh, I only have 34% of a parasaur uh, genome, so. I can tell that now by looking at my uh, my dig site instead of having to wait until it incubates to let me know, right? or uh, until the fossil gets extracted for me to know. And so, yeah, that definitely is going to help. Um, F1 through F6 management hotkeys, one through six open sub pages. JP3 spinal roar has been added. I know, yeah, all right, okay. So dino sizes have all been expanded. We all know about that. Um, and there's also, quote, lots of tiny base game changes across the board, unspecified. Um, some bits of information have been withheld. Okay, so that's that. That's about all, all we've got. I mean, now, I will say that's, that's stuff that, we, that we've, all, most of this stuff is stuff that we've known about. Um, but they have some stuff keeping to themselves, so there might be some other stuff. We, uh, you know, I'm holding out hope. Let's hope that you know what they've got hidden is kind of like a kind of like a banger. You know what I'm saying? But for the most part, while this is a lot of the stuff that we expected and knew about, at least we got what we expected and knew about. They didn't take any. They didn't hold much back. You know what I mean? They they kind of just they gave us what they said they were going to do, which is more than what they've been doing. <laughs> That's saying something. So yeah, yeah, there you have it. You know, uh, now let's just dive into the positive things. I am very happy with this update. Of course, there is quite a few things that we really freaking need, but overall, and as a first step, this is a good step. Uh, I didn't expect everything to be fixed, and this first update. Uh, and a while back, I was, you know, willing to forego almost every fix just to have the sizes fixed in themselves, and we got that and much more. With that being said, I genuinely do think that many of these small things that everyone else is glossing over will really help smooth out the base gameplay. Being able to cancel incubations and research will be very helpful. Being able to remove all genes with one click, very helpful. Being able to uh, use dig site percentages and see those, very helpful. And even the, the new hotkeys being added for menus will, will help a great deal and just simply smoothing out all the, uh, the basic uh, gameplay, especially in challenge mode, uh, which seconds could be crucial for ramped up dinosaur madness, you know what I mean? <clears throat> Again, if you guys want me to do a challenge mode video, I will because I think there's a lot there, but I don't want to have a 40 minute video. So con uh, contracts giving appropriate sums will make it feel worthwhile doing costly missions. Many of us are beyond the base story or far enough to sit on Nublar and pretend like the rest of the game doesn't exist. And now knowing that the dinosaurs live longer uh, and you can go back to start over on Mantiseros uh, after you five star it and, uh, and look at it, you know, at night. That'd be awesome, and it makes you want to go back and see your first dinosaur because, you know, hey, they're still alive, right? Uh, which will help you feel more connected and invested into the dinosaurs that you breed. Then you have to, uh, then you have the fluff features, right? Um, like dinosaur sizes, viewing galleries, territorial fights, hunting only when hungry, all enable you to be able to enjoy uh, your dinosaurs as they are intended to be seen in the Jurassic style. Work still needs to be done to protect 
the style. Um, but this is a large step in the right direction with the JP3 uh, Spinal Roar being tossed uh, on top to even it all out. So there you have it. Frontier said that they are eager to hear positive and hopeful criticism. Add hurting. Hurting and social interactions uh, instead of standing in a circle. That's not enough. There. Th this, is, this is as much uh, needed as a basic overall to the base game. You know, I will say that it's much needed as a basic overall to the base game. They've done a great job. Um, textbook one day one patch. <laughs> that's over two months late <laughs> oops oops there i go again but no seriously you know add hurting add decorations uh and and you guys can take six months to get a, a dlc out i don't give a shit you know what i mean like it's do that for us do that add hurting social interactions decorative items fix the raptors that you know what i mean your textbook textbook one tape patch <laughs> over two months late yeah okay all right okay okay so there you have my positive reaction uh, now most of what i have to say that is negative isn't about the game implementations of the patch so much as a is is a way for uh, the way frontier ha handles this whole thing let's start by asking the basic questions dude why haven't you shaved your neck man uh, uh oh wait wrong, wrong wrong question why why wasn't all of this in the basic game why do you keep saying it's a free update of course it's free you don't have to pay for fixes to a broken game i'm not going to pay you guys to fix your game that's this should have been there at launch maybe they're just trying to seem overly generous uh, to calm us i don't know why do you always put an over the top positive spin on things the fans would be more positively responsive if you just simply came out and was honest about mistakes and have clear communication i've said this from the beginning reply to someone on twitter uh, you know who is being negative for once and and tell them directly they are listening to what they are saying it's really not hard other devs do it daily and you used to do it with planet coaster you say games are hard to make Hence, these tiny fixes that smooth the game are why the launch was incomplete? Well, tough. That's that's your job. If if you would have gotten the giga size right from the start, you wouldn't have had to, had to do all that extra work overhauling the animations to fit the new size. That's not our fault or our problem for calling you out about something you screwed up on, and it's also not something that you should stress that's free because it's a fix to the game. You know, like... For example, if I'm working at a at a car dealership, and I and and it's hard to assemble the wheels properly, and then the manager comes up to me and says, "Hey, why haven't you got all these wheels assembled? You're like 25 wheels behind." And I say, "Well, it's hard making wheels." He goes, "Well, tough. That's what I pay you to do. So do it. If you can't, move on. Right? If you couldn't make this game, you shouldn't have. You know, what what's the uh, Ian Malcolm quote? They were so preoccupied with whether they could, they didn't stop to think if they should i mean that error shouldn't have happened it's there it's it's in its own bio that it is as the giga is at least as big as the rex i strongly feel frontier have hurt their future pre-order sales on their next large title and that sucks because they 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 really only have jwe and planco to provide them income for over 100 employees uh they said themselves that they were surprised to see the dino fans love dinos as much as they love coasters like no shit man what did you th think you was you was making you know we haven't had a game like this since jpog either you didn't do good research or you underestimated the respect we have for these lizards and you didn't treat them with such respect so there you have it folks i am happy to get this up to get this update and more than relieved to be able to lay off of frontier honestly make no mistake i am happy and props to frontier for getting it 90 percent right this time while i did just rant uh, this is a win for all of us you have been fighting hard to get these changes kicked out of chats and servers you people tell me daily and it's because of our loud voice we received such excellent changes Make no mistake, if no one would have spoken up at all, we would have gotten an update, sure. But it would have been half of what it was with no size change and, and very few fixes because they wouldn't have felt the pressure and the passion from us. So what else do we still need? 
herding, decorations, raptor fixes, better communication, and potential aquatic and flying DLC among others. They did say that there was a whole host of small changes which are likely to smooth out the game uh, that, we, that we didn't see included in the stream, most likely small things like the percentages and dick sites and other info that they are withholding at the moment which um, maybe could be hurting or tiny uh, decoration DLC pack, I don't know. Uh, but guys, but that's you know that's about all I got to cover on this. I, I just know that it enables me to finish the documentary and that's what's important to me, right? Um, but one more thing uh, at the end, the co this this commenter said that uh, Best in Slot kind of called me out in this video. Roll it. Um, but the other thing is about how we deal with Frontier. They did mention that in the stream, actually. And that's just when you're giving, it's really important to give feedback. I don't, I like, I would not deny for a second that feedback and criticism is a very important thing. But I would like to stress again that doing that in a constructive polite manner is also fundamentally helpful. If you're a dev, right, and you've got some people screaming at you and hurling abuse and death threats and all this about dinosaur size changes, why would you, f you're not going to feel that compelled to do it. But if your community comes out and says, this is something we want, you know, we love the game, but we think it could be better. Here's how. Aren't you going to be more willing to help that community out? This is, I'm not going to call anyone out or anything, but I did see some comments about how um, the dinosaur size changes was like we won a battle against Frontier, you know, because the community had an outcry and now Frontier are changing it. I really think that's a, I don't say harmful, but I don't think that's a very good way to look at this. This should be more like a symbiotic relationship. We need Frontier to make this game as good as it can be, to keep working, to want to keep working for us, and to make the ultimate dinosaur park simulator. That's what we all want. And Frontier need us. They need us to buy their game, to hype up their game, to buy DLC down the line. The two should be working together. It should never be viewed as us against them, or likewise. I, dis I disagree. While it was aimed at hardcore critics of the game, myself being one of them, he also talked about people giving Frontier serious death threats. I have never and will never advocate uh, for harm against anyone. That's just stupid. Anybody who does that is... is they're, they're not... Um, let's just say they don't have all of their cups in their cabinet. You know what I mean? Like, the lights are on, but nobody's home. Those kind of people. Uh, I may call them shit uh, when they deserve it and as often as they need to hear it, but that's about it. So I don't think it, this was direct, di directed directly at me or exactly at me, uh, but more of just calming the feisty fan base down, which uh, was that way before I made the JPOC is better than JWE video. But uh, one thing I disagree with him on, uh, whether he said it about me anyway, or not, I still disagree with it, is that it's not a fight or a war with Frontier, but it should be a symbiosis of some cir circle jerk or some hippy dippy shit. I don't, I don't know. Uh, well, I have to say, you know, sorry, buddy, this is real life and we want warm seasoned potatoes, not slop. And they have warmed them and they have salted them. Not adequately enough, but good enough so far. Uh, palatable. This is a consumer economy and a modern day with the internet. If someone makes a bad product, they will know about it. It is the internet and they will know about it quickly. And good news for, the, for gaming is that they can add to games. But when you promise one game and then you get handed 50% of it and then get told uh, to be complacent and happy, well you have to lay in the bed you made. You're gonna get told about the, the screw ups you do. Um, people know that even in my own comment section, like some of my Godzilla videos, you know, I'm not as astute in the Godzilla franchise as I am Jurassic World franchise, so I make mistakes sometimes. I don't hide away from that. I'm in my comment section going, you're right, I'm sorry, I'll fix this, or no, you're wrong, and I think this. That's just the way it is. You have to take criticism, and sometimes that criticism isn't, you know, flowers and rainbows. For example, if you buy a car and they tell you, um, after you bought it that it has no wheels but hey you will get a letter in the mail in two months that explains that the wheels will be there in two weeks and then get told not to express your unhappiness make no mistake if you stay silent in today's gaming world you will have cash grabs left and right this game still needs fixes but I'm proud to say our community stood our ground and fought for what we needed we got it for the most part 
make no mistake, it is a war. Now, wars don't have to be bloody. Wars don't have to be savage. Wars don't have to be death threats. They don't have to be. But make no mistake, if you just lay down, roll over, and you don't shout from the rafters what you want, they won't feel the need to do it. The, se the sizes show that. The sizes do show that. They initially was not going to change it, and the reasoning was, it's just too hard. That was it. Well, sorry, it's your fault that you messed it up. And if you want us to buy future DLC, if you guys want us to buy your next game, you'll get it right and you'll fix it. Or we'll let you know about it. That's just the way it works. I know it seems somewhat, uh, you know, unsatisfying, you know, but these small things will go a long way, guys. I will say that. This is the core of what we needed in the game. As long as Frontier stays true to the word and communicates clearly and effectively and tells us what's going on, um, then the rest will come, even if it takes a while. At least the core foundation of the game is finally in place. Hell, maybe maybe we do a post-update playthrough, huh? How's that? I don't know. Anyways, guys, I appreciate you guys like always. I hope you like, comment, and subscribe. Turn on the notification bell if you don't want to miss any more Jurassic World Evolution content. And um, I'm in the comment section after every single video. You guys are killing it. We've got the documentary full trailer coming out soon. I appreciate you guys like always, and I'll see you in the next one. You had me at hello. Oh,